Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. We just wanted to take a brief moment to thank you for subscribing, liking, and we love hearing from you in the comments. Agar mycology is a technique that allows the cultivator the ability to grow out mycelium with the least possibility of contamination while achieving the best possible genetics. Mushroom spores are inherently dirty, so utilizing agar techniques allows the user to clean out any contamination before moving on to the next step of grain spawning. Agar is derived directly from red kelp and is used as a vegan substitute for gelling and thickening various types of cuisine. It is also used as a thickening agent for the cultivation of molds, bacteria, and fungi in laboratories across the world, which make it the perfect ingredient for home mycology exploration. Agar, 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 tomato, tomato, potato, potato, no matter how you say it, we're excited to share this process with you. When working with spores or cloning best fruits, it's always our goal to create a liquid culture. Liquid culture is mycelium suspended in nutrition. It's like a liquid petri dish without the agar in a jar. To achieve this, whether we are starting with spores or cloning, we begin the process with agar dishes. You may have seen our water agar video where we share our base recipe. It is simply our go-to agar and boiling purified water. We wanted to take a minute to share living gin agar agar with you. It is simply the best for home mycology. Clean, clear, easy to use, non-GMO, 100% red algae, perfect for dishes or no pour jars every time. Lemming Gin has generously offered the mycology community 10% off their agar agar with code mycology10off. Just follow the link in the description and down below in the comments or enter mycology10off at checkout. They offer a low cost four ounce along with a 12 and 32 ounce easy to use standing bag. Cloning is the transfer of organic materials directly from the cap or stem of the mushroom to a petri dish for the purposes of creating duplicate mushrooms of the best fruits you've already grown. Through multiple transfers, you can produce very bountiful flushes. There are dozens of recipes for agar. However, when you break it down to the basics, it's all about nutrition and sugar. We are not talking about cane sugar. We are specifically talking about dextrose, which is in most MEA blends and honey. Some use popcorn grain to create a corn syrup water known as grain water. In this video, we are utilizing water agar to complete a spore to agar transfer. Like I previously mentioned, spores are inherently dirty, so using water agar without the nutrients and sugar will rob contaminants while allowing good mycelium to grow. Our recipe uses 10 grams of agar for 500 milliliters of boiling purified water, or you can use five grams of agar for 250 milliliters of water. Using 90 millimeter Petri dishes, we pour 24 plates with 500 milliliters and we pour 12 plates with 250 milliliters. The size of your plate and how full you fill your plates will determine how many dishes you will create. We use a heated magnetic stir plate in boiling water with an infrared temperature gun, which we feel is vital to our process. Using boiling purified water makes the task of mixing agar without it gelling or clumping much easier. Once you have allowed the agar to completely dissolve without clumping, then you're ready to sterilize in the pressure cooker. You will want to pressure cook for 20 minutes at 15 PSI, then allow the bottles to cool between 140 and 120 degrees before pouring your dishes. We allow our bottles to cool while stirring on the magnetic plate with the heat off and monitor it with the temperature gun. Check out our sterilization and sanitization video for tips on how to eliminate contamination. 
Make sure everything is sterilized before pouring agar to plates inside a still air box. Pouring one plate at a time quickly, taking the tops off, pouring, and replacing the top before moving on. Make sure the plate you're pouring into is flat, that it's sitting on an even surface. Do not overfill and try not to shake the agar till it's completely cooled. You do not want it to splash up around the sides or onto the lid. Allow your plates to cool to room temperature. If you see condensation, just flip your plates upside down. You can even store them upside down. We recommend that you wait 24, 48, even 72 hours to make sure that your plates do not have any contamination. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, thank you for subscribing. And we're really excited to share some agar tips with you in our next video. So make sure that you ring the bell to be notified when we have new videos for you.